Hi peoples, Billy the Crayon here. Um, I know it's been a long, long time since I actually uploaded anything. I apologize about that. Um, it's just been a, it's been a pretty busy su uh, summer, and uh, this year, uh, I don't know. I just felt like I kind of needed a little bit of a break from the whole YouTube thing. There's a lot of drama going on with that and all that stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna try to make a comeback. No promises. Um, because you guys know me better than that anyways. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to do a quick video on my thoughts on Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts. Basically my kind of impressions of it. Um, but um, let me be clear. Um, a lot of people are going to say that, uh, well, if you check out my channel, you'll know that I'm a big fan of the game The Hunter by Expansive Worlds. And I still am. It is a fantastic game, and I will continue to support that game and play it. Um... And a lot of people probably know my feelings on the Cabela series in general. Um, I have made my thoughts very clear on many of their games. Uh, the Cabela's Big Game Hunters uh, uh, series. And I stand by those remarks. I stand by my, um, my opinions. Uh, however, I also believe in not being a fanboy or a hater or anything like that because realistically brand loyalties don't mean anything uh, companies are usually not loyal to their fans so there's no point in fans being loyal to them so anyways uh with that said um and with my opinions on the big game, the big game hunter series, or any Cabela's games really, is that they're way too arcadey and action oriented and all this stuff. It's it, they weren't hunting games at all. This one is kind of uh, their way of kind of moving in the right direction. They're, I don't think they're quite there yet, but to me, this is close enough to a hunting simulator to call it that so I'm just gonna go ahead I, I have a campaign going here um, I've completed this area uh, and moved on to Northeast it's been a while since I played this so I apologize um, but yeah it's you start at uh, different in different areas. Uh, the map is uh, it's it's pretty big, uh, but the game is not really the uh, greatest in this in some sense because of the fact that uh, it is still a little bit arcadey and it's a little bit uh, it's a little easy, but. Yeah, uh, there are some things that they do that I think just doesn't doesn't make any sense and that I don't really like. For instance, there's like this mission. I need to hunt four white-tailed deer uh, with a rifle at, uh, from less than 60 yards. What if I want to use a bow? You know, they, they don't give me that option. But um, uh, not all of them are like that like you can also just hunt with this this is more just freestyle hunting you can hunt whatever you want you can hunt small game uh, whatever uh, and you see here you get different accomplishments um, and you get certain amount of credits for completing those um, for instance hunting 15 rabbits with a bow you get 1200 credits I believe um, credits you can buy different things different um, 
Uh, there's a f few different guns. You don't get a whole lot of different gear options. You can have like a scent mask uh, or a collar, something like that. Uh, you can have different types of ammo if you wanted, but uh, yeah, it's nothing special. I'm gonna go with the deer call because right now I wanna, I want to hunt a deer. Um, I just have the five time uh, binoculars. That's fine enough for me. But I'm going to go with the compound bow. There's no scope for it. And I will go with the 450 grain. Yeah, judo uh, points are for uh, small game. Uh, and then there's a 600 grain broadhead, which I believe is for bears and stuff like that. The really heavy game. But, yeah. And your ammo type is a huge deal in this. Uh, I'll, I'll try to show you that too. Like, the difference between, like, these kind of weapons. Uh, how, how powerful some of them are. Uh, a lot of times it's hard to really get the penetration. But, yeah, that's, that's just the way it is. And you even have, like, I'll show you two. The 270, I believe, you started out with. You have the hollow points and or the partition. The partition are, um, are more powerful. And they have a little bit more um, penetration. But, uh, yeah. These, I think, go faster, uh, have a higher muzzle velocity and stuff. But there's times where I would shoot something and it wouldn't, it would like nick off of a rib and just, it won't penetrate. So you got to keep that in mind too. Uh, and that's what the other um, ammo is for. It's, it's a better cartridge. Yeah, let's do this really quick. Um, So we got our gear sorted out. Uh, what time do I want to play? Start at 7. Yeah. So we started out here. Got our bow. All this stuff. And I'm just going to uh, get going here. Now you'll see, like right here, we have a, um, a stand. But there's nothing here right now. I can hear something calling up here. And you'll see the... Uh, Deer symbols here, like the different uh, symbols on the map. Uh, this big triangle thing coming out from my where I'm at, that is the scent. It shows you where the scent is. Um, and you'll see here uh, the white glow around this. That means that there is most likely activity right there at this time. And deer will move from these different zones, whether they're eating, for drinking, and all that stuff throughout the day. So, yeah. Um, so I'm going to go up this way. And then over. That way I'm not... If I go directly to it, then it's likely I may get my scent in the way. Um... But yeah, the green area there, I believe, is where my, uh, that is the uh, scent where the, where I can be smelled at. Because I have the scent eliminator on, uh, the purple, it, they cannot smell. Um, but uh, if I didn't have the scent eliminator on, the, all of that would be green and they would, they would detect me from further away. 
So we're gonna go to my um, my waypoint here and then head over. And yeah, like as far as this game compared to the Hunter, uh, one of the major things about it, about this compared to the Hunter, is that uh, like the reason why I would suggest this game is because like with the Hunter, one of the big problems with the Hunter is the way it is marketed. Um, it's just it's not really marketed that well because of the fact that they call it a free to play game which fair enough you can play it for free uh, a little bit but I think that um, there needs to be a um, more of um, I think there needs to be a more defined version of the term uh, free to play. So I just don't think that uh, I don't think some people get it, uh, and I think that's part of the problem uh, with, especially with the hunter, because like yeah, it's free to play, but like the way I look at it is that's more of just a, a, a trial uh, in the same sense that um, like with World of Warcraft they try to say, they used to try to say that that was that you could play for free in World of Warcraft that's not true like yeah you can um, go in there and play it yeah up to level 20 and that's it All right, let's take another look at this map here Alright, this, I don't think this is going to help me for right here, so I think I'm going to go to this blind. Yeah. And yeah, as far as like, uh, the uh, scent eliminator, I don't need to spray that myself. It's just automatically sprayed for you. Um, but yeah. Yeah, like I say, I prefer the Hunter still, like myself, because like I don't take all the marketing stuff into consideration. Like I'm already a paying customer, so uh, yeah. But I do think that um, those who do uh, watch the wind. You don't want to get caught flat-footed if you're suddenly upwind of the animals. Got something down this way, but uh, those uh, circles you see appearing every now and then, that's like footsteps or sounds. Um, I think that's a little bit OP in my opinion. Because you can detect animals from really far away. But yeah, that's, that's just me. I'm going to just uh, crawl up here. But, but yeah, like the reason I would suggest this game to some people is because this game is more what a lot of people say they're looking for. They're looking for a hunting game that they can just shell out the money for, the uh, 50, 60 bucks or whatever, and that's it. And they, what they have is what they get. You know, they don't get any more updates or anything like that. They just, they've already paid for it, and that's that. Okay. So I want, I want that deer there that's not, that's like facing away from me, but I need him to, uh, there we go, that's, that's better. Alright, this is what this has 
is. It's pretty damn cool. Ribs. Punctured the lung. That's good. Lung shot. Nice and clean. That one didn't even budge. something here. I probably should have played this a little bit before I uh, got into it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, okay. All right, well, let's uh, let's just move on here, and we'll, we'll pick up our uh, trophy down here. But if I get a shot on, if I see an opening on this deer, I'm gonna take it. But yeah, wind I think affected my uh, shots there a little bit. I think that was too high. No. Double long, I think. Yeah. Double long shot. Excellent shot placement. Won't go far. Yeah, there we go. Looks like all the game has been spooked around here. Time to move on. And that doesn't mean that my hunt is over. It just means that I, uh, I'm done in this this particular spot here. They'll uh, spook for a bit, and then they'll move on to a different area. Uh, right now, I think this one. Oh yeah, I think th yeah, this is the two of them right here. So yeah, there's no uh, trophy shot or anything for this. It's just uh, that's that. All right, so those deer there are not gonna like me too much, but it looks like we have some right up ahead here. But I want to get around them probably Watch to right here. Land. Every time he says that, too, um, that usually means that um, their uh, the wind has changed. At least that's what I uh, come to realize from it. That's just a small game there. 
I didn't bring the uh, judo points, so I wouldn't be able to shoot them anyways. Well, I, I think I can I can shoot them actually, and it will give me credit for them, but it's just a tiny bit harder. So you don't even need to uh, collect this, I don't think. No, they, they just disappear because it's just a small game. It's not important. All right. So let's just take another look here. See, overall, I'd say this is a it's a pretty good little hunting game, and I think that they're moving in the right direction. It's still a little e it's still a little easy, but that's okay. But uh but Yeah, I'd say like just depending on what people want, like if you're if you're more of a solo hunter, you don't want to spend too much money or anything like that, then yeah, this game will be cheaper for you. At the same time, you're not going to get updates. Like, I don't even think this was really updated since it came out. So, there's that. That thing must be, like, just right there, whatever it is. And I don't see anything here, which is what this is supposed to be telling me. Uh. I'll get back in there. Alright, so I forgot how to, uh, forgot how to use my uh, deer collar, which is what I'm trying to figure out now. So, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, look. It's just a little doe. I don't, I don't see anything else here. Watch the wind. You don't want to be caught flat-footed if you're suddenly upwind of the animals. Ooh, yeah, that's not good. See how that changed on me? It was going like up this way before, and now it's over this way. So if it changes again, it could go down this way, and well, this area would be toast anyways. Didn't even phase her. I think this one's just gonna be a little bit too bad of an angle, but yeah, it's not even showing it. Two misses. She's turned on me anyways, so. <laughs> so as you can see, I am a poor shot. <laughs> Nothing really changes there. Get 
back up there. This one ain't gonna work. You know what? You can't get too close to these uh, bushes either, because you will make noise and alert them. Oh, she's alerted, anyways. And she's taken off. Okay. No biggie. I didn't want her anyways. But let's uh, continue on. Let's try this one. But yeah, like I said, it's it's not the uh, be all end all or anything. It's not gonna replace the hunter, uh, but the hunter, like expansive worlds, will know now that they have competition. They're not the only ones making really good. Um, like really good quality hunting simulators anymore technically they kind of are but I don't see these are these making any moves don't, don't look like it there's a lot of them there though and some pretty nice ones too so I want to get to my uh, hide here over here I might be busted okay I'm busted looks like all the game has been spooked around here time to move on damn That would have helped me out there, too. Yeah, they're gone. But yeah, that's a look at the bow anyways. Let's uh, let's quit out of here for, for now. Got a couple kills. Nothing too fancy. And one of the things that I don't like is that it, they have like prerequisites for certain hunts so I need to get these weapons in order to hunt those
So we'll go with this. Uh, four power rifle scope. And we'll give this one a shot. But first, before I actually... Before I do this... Let me see if I can... Uh... No, it's not going to show me a... Or wait. View layout. Is L. Hold to use calls. Double tap to change calls. Okay. Would have helped if I seen that, I guess. Yeah, let's go back here and let's uh, see about doing some moose hunting. Let's see if I can do one of the. Or wait, that's 12 gauge and recurve bow. Here we go. Hunt one black bear with a rifle. Now, one another issue with this, your hunts are timed. You only have four, I only have four hours to kill a black bear and um, get it. Which is, which shouldn't be too hard, but sometimes you'll need to kill like three animals and they all need to be like with a certain weapon and it'll be timed and stuff like that and it's just it's difficult <laughs> it gets it's a little bit harder and everything and it just goes more into the whole uh, It just goes more into the psyche of the um, the game and everything, and like it just makes it make it a little bit more hard. I'm not a fan of that. Well, that was cool. I'm just gonna back off from that area a little bit. <laughs> But actually, let me climb up into this. And just take a look around. That looks like a fox, is it? I hear a bear. If he would turn around for me, we'll land this one right now. Come on, just turn a little bit more, buddy. Okay, come over here, right there. And go broadside to me. Take a look at this here. Is he like laying down there or something? He was. I 
All right, as soon as he gets on the other side of this tree, I can take a shot. I wanted to move a little bit more right about there. Looks good. Let's see what happens. Ooh, it's a little high. Got the lung anyways. Double lung. Double lung shot. Excellent shot placement. Won't go far. Okay. Also, did I just see if... Yeah, he didn't even move. Figured the uh, gunshot would have scared him off. Oh yeah, and because this is an objective, or wait, let me. Yeah, that might be him there, I think. Or no, that's my marker from before. Yeah, I was gonna sit in that thing. Three hours remaining, and you see that's really annoying right there. Okay, I don't know what I'm looking at here. Just trying to... It's not that. I don't think those leave... Uh... I think that's another bear down there. No, oh, caribou. You see, that's one thing I don't like too. If you, if you make a bad shot and you need to track your uh, prey down, but you're you have a time limit. And it makes things really uh, complicated. I think that one sees me. I want that one to move a little bit closer. I could just take the head off it, but uh, that's not my style.
I'm afraid to move. See the problem there. <laughs> See, I hit that one, but uh, it shows you right where it goes wrong. And sometimes, depending on the, the, the weapon that you're using, that bullet will literally deflect off of a rib or something like that and go down and even though it was uh like straight on course for uh for a lung shot it'll deflect away from it and miss completely so that's always a possibility too now where is my bear probably in all of this mess I'm not going to shoot anything else right now because I want to get this done. Okay. Changes in the wind direction can ruin your hunt if you're not paying attention and staying downwind from your quarry. There he is. That's him, and that's the, uh, oh, and yes, because I'm, I did it, I, I completed the, the uh, mission, that's it. I don't get to claim the other one. So that's another issue with the game. And I'll show you one last thing before I, uh, before I finish up too. So you'll see that's done. And I have to complete so many of these in order to continue on. But, uh... Let me see if... Yeah, I can show you this. This is a, uh... These ones with the, uh, stars on them. These are special hunts that you do. It has a cutscene and everything. It has this, apparently, like a pro trophy hunter, probably a celebrity or something. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, yeah. It's a, a special hunt. And you see here, they want me to have the 270 rifle. So I'm going to have that. Uh, let me do the partitioned round instead. Because, like I said, I, th I think that, that has better... Uh, it's a little bit better. Let's see here. Have us... You finish this hunt, can't play it again. Okay, so there you go. I cannot show you. Um, pretty sure I can't show you any of these ones either. Minimum experience 1080. What do I have here? Yeah, I need the 30 out 6 and a moose call. So, what does the 30 out 6 cost me? 30,000. And the moose.
nose cull is 8,000. So that ain't gonna happen for this video. And I'm not really gonna be coming back to this either. So that's just too bad. But yeah, like I say, they are scripted hunts. And you, um, you basically go through that they, they're kind of like guiding you where to go and all this stuff. And um, you take the shot. It's a little difficult, but like I say, it's it's 100% like a scripted thing. Like you go in, and like there'll be um, it's the one area, and they always make the same moves to set up. So you have to try to get to a good position without being seen and stuff like that. Oh yeah, there's this one too. Let me see here. 1050 and the recurve bow. But I need 1050 experience. I don't even know how much I have. Hmm. Yeah, I won't be able to show that, I don't think. But yeah, uh, that's just a quick look at this game. Uh, one of the things I, I don't like about it is that it's all done through unlocks. And like uh, before, all you could do is southeast. I could not move on to northeast, which is what I wanted to do because this is more like... If you look at it, like, right up here, this little island here, this little tiny one, that's where I live. That's Cape Breton Island. And so I, I was like the idea of, like, northeast. And you have bears and moose and uh, deer and stuff like that. And, like, that's that. But, yeah, it's, it's not even real. It's just a really small section of it. And I can't even do uh, Northwest or Southwest until I uh, complete all of these things. So after Northeast, I can only do Southwest. Uh, and I have to complete all the uh, pro hunts, which I believe are these two. Um, or, or are these the pro hunts? No, these are regular hunts. And these are the pro hunts. Yeah. So that's just a, like I say, it's a quick look at this game. It's not for everybody. It's definitely, I definitely like the Hunter better. This does a few things a little better. I like how it does like the uh, arrow penetration uh, realistically and everything, even though the Hunters is a lot better now since uh, one of the latest patches. It is absolutely fantastic now, um, at least for um, the uh, compound and the um, yeah the two compound bows. Um, the other bows are a little like not quite there. I think they've been. I think how it worked is the uh, Parker Python and the Snake Bite have been buffed. And the um, uh, the recurve and the um, the other, like the long or the traditional bow um, they have been nerfed basically um, because of that. But yeah, that's a totally different game. I just wanted to show you this one just because, like I say. It's on sale now on Steam, so you can uh, feel free to check it out. This is just my little look at it, and you can take it from there. That's it for now, guys. Until next time, have a good one.